the first method of preparation would be via reduction of alkynes now alkynes are hydrocarbons which have triple bond and there should be at least one carbon carbon triple bond they can be alka r alkyl group on both the sides they can be hydrogen on both the sides they can be alkyl group on one side hydrogen on other side whatever the case be we need to have one carbon carbon triple bond for a hydrocarbon to be called as alkyne now alkyne has three bonds somehow if you reduce one bond that will become alkene and if you reduce both the pi bond that will become alkynes now before uh, 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 going for studying this reduction let me quickly give you an idea of what a reduction is reduction generally is addition of hydrogen in presence of a catalyst like palladium platinum or nickel now what happens in this reduction is you have a hydrogen right and this hydrogen will be under high pressure inside the reduction chamber now there will be a surface of palladium palladium just provides surface because this hydrogen will be in gaseous phase if we just put a alkyne a higher alkyne will be in solid state and there if 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 we have a chamber where higher alkynes are in a solid phase and we have gaseous hydrogen so in this case the rate of reaction will be very low because most of the hydrogen will be in gaseous state and will not come down to react with the solid alkyl alkyne so what we do we 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 put it at a high pressure we pressurize this chamber from outside that increases the rate of reaction and apart from that we provide a surface of catalyst now on this surface we will have a absorbed alkyne on this surface we will also absorb the gaseous hydrogen so the hydrogen above this palladium surface will come and get absorbed on this palladium when it comes and get absorbed there are already some alkyne on the surface so this hydrogen also comes towards the surface and while coming towards the surface it collides with alkyne and the rate of collision between hydrogen which was otherwise above the surface in gaseous state will while it comes down the rate of reaction between alkyne and this hydrogen increases and that increases rate of reaction rate of collision increases that increases rate of reaction that's the purpose of palladium to provide surface right now once it has provided the surface then what happens we have a alkyne and we have hydrogen they are coming closer together now at high pressure this bond have a tendency to break and this pi bonds also have a tendency to break so what happens under such circumstances suppose i am breaking one of the pi bond suppose i am breaking one of the pi bond i form a free radical on both the carbon and these two hydrogen also breaks and they also forms free radical right now after that this carbon and this hydrogen and this carbon and this hydrogen forms a bond among themselves so what we have is we have a alkene now one of the pi bond has been broken now it doesn't happen so fragmentedly like this that one free, free radical will be formed and here also free radical will be formed and then we have a bond all these things happen simultaneously suppose this bond is in a process of breaking and this bond is also in a process of breaking and this bond is in a pro process of formation and this bond is also in a process of formation so it happens slowly and gradually but nevertheless it happens like this now you have a alkene when you have a alkene if you can stop the reaction at this stage well and good you have a alkene and we are studying the method of preparation of alkene but generally the reaction will not stop at this stage what would happen you already have high pressure inside the reduction chamber you have already have more number of hydrogen molecule which are unreacted and left out and you have this alkene so what will happen will the hydrogen will come again and again get added if you have a hydrogen again getting added then two hydrogen will again get attached and this time you have alkene that means both the pi bond has been reduced and two mole of hydrogen gas has been absorbed so uh, you have alkene but now the third mole of hydrogen will not come because this is now as a sigma bond and sigma bond don't break so easily like this even at at high pressure so no more hydrogen can be added this is a final product 
but this is alkene but I don't want to prepare alkene I want to prepare alkene so what I want to do is I want to stop reaction at this stage when you have alkene reaction must be stopped at this stage now how can we stop reaction at this stage now if you, if you remember what I said you have a surface of palladium right now if you don't keep alkyne on the surface suppose there is an alkyne on the surface a hydrogen from gaseous phase will come and react now suppose suppose somehow I remove off this alkene you have an alkyne because reaction will occur on the surface because suppose outside the surface this is the reaction chamber outside the surface you have alkyne kept here now this alkyne is not going to react or if you have an alkene here this alkene is also not going to react because hydrogen is all over but hydrogen will in, here the hydrogen is in gaseous phase and it will try to be in gaseous phase it will not come and settle down so it will not come and strike these al this alkyne and this alkene it will try to remain in the air only if you provide a palladium surface it will absorb the gas and due to absorption it will try to enter the palladium and while entering into the palladium it will strike the alkene or alkyne right so the reaction is going to occur only on the surface now suppose if you do a arrangement that alkyne gets absorbed when it gets reduced to alkene alkene no more get absorbed alkene leaves the surface and when it leaves the surface then there will be no further reaction fine so now how can we do that now suppose now the reason why palladium absorb all these things is palladium is a D block metal heavy metal that has more number of uh, electrons and in D block if you have studied uh, 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 shielding of electron if you have studied inner pair effect you c would understand what happens actually you have a central nucleus in any atom and then you have shells of electron and then you have electrons all over right so suppose the electron is outside the atom then it, the, it will face certain attraction with this nucleus but since you have more number of electrons in between then that at attraction would be shielded like this electron will be shielded by this from this nucleus so the effect of this nucleus will not be felt by this electron and the shielding effect is caused by the electrons in the shell in between so this is called shielding effect but s what happens in D block most of the electrons are in F orbital and shielding effect of those F orbitals are not are very poor so the electrons are effectively attracted this is enough to understand the effect what's happening here now the shielding effect of electrons are poor that means the attraction that uh, the attraction of a outer electron from the nucleus of this D block metal it can be palladium platinum nickel all are D block right will be higher so they can be attracted now these pi bonds are are electron rich now they have more loosely they are they have more loosely held electronic density so they face more attraction like this alkyne the alkyne has two pi bonds so attraction for alkyne will be higher than the attraction for for alkene right so alkyne will be more readily attracted by palladium and hydrogen will also be attracted because d block elements are porous as well they absorb hydrogen so both will be attracted and there will be reaction but when alkene is formed then the attraction will decrease because one pi bond has been decreased now if we can calibrate this attraction to such a way that alkyne is absorbed but when our pi bond is reduced and it, the compound turns into alkene then the attraction is not good enough to get it absorbed at the surface so it will leave the surface right so now that calibration is done by poisoning this palladium if I add barium sulfate if I add other chemicals like lead or lead acetate right so then the attraction can be reduced and that when attraction gets the attracting power of this lead get reduced then only alkynes effectively get absorbed and alkene does not get absorbed so our purpose is solved alkyne will get absorbed to the surface and uh, it will have reaction once it turns into alkene it is no more absorbed because of poisoning because of mitigating the attraction attra attracting effect attracting power of this palladium surface so this alkene will leave out the surface when it leaves out the surface there will be no reaction as we talked before right 
so this using this we can stop the reaction at the stage of alkene so when we do that we will have the final product as alkene and this alkene will not go further into the reaction to form alkane right so H2PD will not do we have to poison this H2PD by certain absorbents by certain poisons like I mean it, the idea is we have to put a layer of certain uh, certain other material that will decrease the porosity, porosity of this lead or uh, this 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 palladium surface this catal catalyst to reduce the attracting power of this catalyst so one of that coating layer can be used that is barium sulfate apart from barium sulfate we also add lead we also add lead acetate right and we can also add quinoline and these are good uh, uh, they, get, they get absorbed well on the lead surface and that's why we add it now quinoline you must know what quinoline, quinoline is quinoline is C9H7N and it looks like like when you when you fuse a benzene ring and pyridine it becomes quinoline right you must know the structure of quinoline it can come ahead in the syllabus so know it here itself it is quinoline and uh, generally generally all these things will not be written on the arrow for the reaction but they will write as H2PD and barium sulfate they will not write lead lead acetate or quinoline but generally to make to carry out this reduction we add certain poisons to poison the catalyst and reduce its attracting power we add quinoline as well but barium sulfate alone can do the job to precisely calibrate we have to use various proportion of all these chemicals alright